Hello everyone and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And today we're going to have a look at the box squad and uh, talk about a few players that missed out on their call-up to the squad for the game against Wales next week. There has been a bit of an update on the squad with Chairs and Colby having been released uh, following a niggle to his knee whilst uh, Selim Pile Gamedi uh, from the Bulls has been granted a release by the Bulls to link up with the box in Pretoria and uh, begin training with them for his First ever Springbok call up in his debut season with the Bulls. Really, um, it wasn't yeah struggled a little bit with the Sharks, but in his first season now with the Bulls, has been playing some great rugby and has received that call up. Uh, so we're going to look at a couple of the players who have not gotten the call up and uh, and, and and maybe sort of talk about maybe why or you know how close they are to the fringe and stuff like that. Um, so before we do that, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as. Well, right, so a lot of people have been asking about certain players and, and why certain players, you know, haven't appeared in the squad. I'm also talking about a few fringe players who I believe could be in the squad. And uh, for me, it can't be far away. And uh, we're going to start with a couple of Lions players. So a lot of people are asking about um, Sinele Nahamba, uh, a player who was uh, fantastic throughout the, the season. In fact, he's actually been nominated uh, for the URC Player of the Season. Uh, there have been three players who are nominated. Kurt Lawrence, Cameron Honeycomb, and then Sinan Nahamba has been nominated as well. Absolutely sublime this season for the Lions, both at 9 and 10. He's been a revelation, really. Um, and I think, you know, he's, he's on the Bok radar. You know, he's, part of, he's, he's called up two uh, squads. That's not even the first time, actually, by the way, he's been part of a Lyman squad. Uh, he played, even played in that, uh, that Springbok Gold versus Springbok uh, Green game all those years ago, sort of during the COVID times. Um, the frustrating thing about the Springbok squad release is we didn't get an injury list. Uh, we didn't get a list of players who, you know, were ruled out. So, for example, Sine and Nahamba, we know, um, had that concussion um, or the head injury against Stormers, um, which we don't know the seriousness of it. You know, for example, we don't know if it was just a concussion. Uh, we don't know if there was potential sort of, uh, you know, cheek injury or jaw injury or stuff like that. So it's quite frustrating with regards to a couple of players who have not been named in the squad that we're not entirely sure about their sort of injury status. Uh, for me, I think Sinead Nahamba is a bigger mission. Um, I'm surprised they didn't look at him, especially given the fact that he covers 9 and 10. You know, Jordan Hendrickson, for me, has had a pretty average season as he's in that Springbok squad. I can, I think he's one for the future. I think he's a great player. Um, but I think that, you know, the fact that he was benched by Sinead Nahamba, who's at, at number 9, was benched as a 10, sort of speaks volumes of the, the sort of season he had. Another player who was a notable absentee is a Springbok World Cup winner, Lakanya Am. Also, again, did not play for the Sharks last few games due to injury. So we assume that injury is potentially the reason that uh, he has been ruled out. Wasn't listed, though, in uh, the names of uh, current players uh, injured. You know, they, they listed Stephen Kitsoff, Jaden Hendricks, for example. Did not include the Kanye Am in that, uh, that, that, that list. Uh, somebody else, a couple people are asking for, he is injured, is Henko van Beek. Um, he is out for the rest of the current season. We'll be back next season. Has had another surgery, unfortunately. Um, but there's a couple of other players who are not injured and available that weren't called up. Um, if you look at the Stormers, for example, big question marks around Ruben van Heeren, which I can understand. Not a lot of locks in that uh, in that squad. Uh, Franco Mossad, for example, the only real number five uh, in that lock, and I think in, in that squad. And I think Ruben van Heeren has had such a good season. For me, he just oozes swing more quality. So interesting that he didn't receive a call up. I thought that he would have been a, a sure, and especially with the injuries to to Lua Diaga. No Jean Klein at the moment. Arceus name not available until after uh, you know the URC comes to an end. So we are a little bit short on locks. And I think Ruben van Heeren, for me, really fits the bill. Um, so Damon Hartzberg as well. Somebody who's been playing some good rugby. Interesting that, for example, Edward van der Merwe was not part of a lineman camps and yet got the call up ahead of a Slayman Hartzberg. Well, I personally agree with it. I think Edward van der Merwe has had a better season. Um, and I think is more a, 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 a bit of an afternoon replacement for the likes of a... Uh, Kurt Lawrence, for example, uh, at Ches and Colby. Uh, his name is uh, He's been playing most of the rugby in 14. Can cover outside centre a little bit, but uh, I would definitely not put him at outside centre in international level just yet. Um, another couple of other absentees, people are talking about the likes of a JC Petorius because of the way he's had such a good season, very much in the Quaker Smith mould. I think he will potentially be on the Springbok radar if he continues to do what he's doing now next season. Um, but again, only had really half a season where he played well. Um, other players who were in part of, of, of alignment camps, the likes of Amanis van der Merwe uh, from the Cheetahs, who was on the on the radar, but didn't get that call up. James Fenter had a fantastic season for the Sharks. A couple of people uh, questioned him. I, I really enjoy what I see from James Fenter. I think he's a, 
acquired grafter. Uh, um, and I think that if he has the season again, like he had this season, I think he puts himself in that Springbok radar. Hershey Yankees for me is a player who is just too inconsistent at the moment. Uh, can't find that sort of consistency that made him a regular back in, in the day. Um, Warwick Halant, I think, probably suffering from a similar thing in terms of players who have been in box squads before. Didn't get the call up. Uh, Asanati and Tlaiba Kanye, I think, was part of the alignment camps. Good to see he's on the radar. I think that his time will come as well. Um, Achiba Daimani and Franco Hall are two players not part of the alignment camps who I think are very unlucky not to be in that squad. I think both of them have had tremendous seasons. Um, very different players, maybe, to the Springbok mold. You know, Franco Hall, a bit more in sort of that Warren Whiteley type of mold. Fantastic skill set, good pace, really loves the sort of runs in the trams. But maybe a little bit like Achiba Daimani. In fact, maybe they're both sort of suffering from a similar problem. Not as direct as, you know, the loose forwards in the in the, uh, in the the squad. And they talk about battle stats, you know, getting involved in, in rucks, defensive rucks, attacking rucks, tackles, um, you know, carries and, and meters carried and stuff like that. And tackles broken. And I think both of them probably lacking uh, in, in, in some of those uh, stats. So uh, big players missing there. And then other players, for example, people talking about where's Tyron Green. Well, even if he is on the radar and could be, I mean, he might even be getting a Springbok call up. He wouldn't have been available for the Wales game and therefore wouldn't have been available uh, for the squad. Although we have got Jasper Visa and Andre Pollard training with the team, but not available for that Wales game. Um, so similar to, sort of thing to Thomas Atoy, who's had a tremendous season for, uh, uh, for for Bath. You know, he played this last weekend, so not available for that uh, Wales game. So there will be a squad update, obviously, incoming after, again, you know, the, the Bulls might be knocked out of the URC this weekend. But I mean, after the Wales game, there will be a new Springbok squad announced for the Ireland series and Portugal series. And then probably that will be a base core of the squad that will then take on the rugby championship. So uh, this is very much not the final squad. A lot of players will come in. A lot of players will drop out. And it'll be interesting to see which of these players can put themselves in the mix for the for the, for the the bigger, larger squad, which will include players from Japan. You'll see a Khaleesi, Trevor Yukani, for example, an Arceus Neyman, maybe a Thomas Tatoy, you know, maybe a maybe a Tyron Green, you never know. Um, but players like that, who sort of, and, and Bulls players like an Ulrich Lowe, maybe. Uh, Billy LaRue, for example, who sort of come into selection frame as well. Uh, but yeah, which of those ones for me were, was a big absentee uh, for you? What what did you think? Which of these players would you have liked to have seen in the box squad? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.